Uh, my wife had a friend whose dad was doing it and made some money doing it one weekend, and, and she said something to me about it, and I was like, yes, I, I, I can do that. That's what I'm going to do, and <laughs> immediately bought a saw and never, never stopped. Seven years. I, yeah, I mean, I, I went to some competitions, um, different stuff. There's, there's stuff all over for carvers to compete and sell their work, and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. So I did, did a few shows, did a few competitions, and then had some success with those. And, and uh, there's a big show in Ridgeway where I met some people that took me all, you know, all, I have friends all over the world that carve, and I've carved all over the world at different big major competitions and stuff. So it's been, it's been good. It's the same as it is still. <laughs> you just learn stuff. I mean, every, I didn't knew nothing about chainsaws, so that part of it was a total start from ground zero. It took me years and years to be able to sharpen them good, and <laughs> that alone. And then you learn, obviously, about the material, material handling and getting it the right time of year and all kinds of stuff, where to get it, what to get for different projects. I use different materials. So I mean, it's all it's just, I learned every day. Um, on the East Coast here, white pine is probably the number one I use mainly for weight, especially on big stuff. And the way it, it carves nicely and it dries nicely, um, it's porous so it can dry. Uh, Catalpa is another wood. It's not a native tree you'd find in the forest, but you can find it around here in yards. It's a decorative tree, but it has amazing grain, and, and it's just perfect for chainsaw carving. It stays together in big chunks. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have, I don't literally go out and look at them. I have a few guys that over the years have also learned what I want, so they get a hold of me when they have something that I'd be interested in. So, good friends help out. <laughs>
ev everything I could get my hands on. Uh, welded steel, marble. Uh, I did some bronze casting. I did a lot of clay work. Uh, yeah, anything. A, a lot of fabricated stuff too. So whatever I have, and that's kind of the way it is here too. I mean, I carve to what I have as material is is in on in my yard. At, Gears, what I'm going to make. I do. I have the very, the very first. What's that? <laughs> yeah, the very first carving I did. My mom, my mother-in-law has, and the second carving I did, I still have on my porch. It was that awful that I couldn't get rid of it. <laughs> I carved the first year without doing any shows or seeing anybody or even looking at what other people were doing. Um, I thought I was important just to, I don't know, it probably was the wrong move, but <laughs> seemed important to me just to get going on my own. And probably the biggest learning experience was, I guess, going to Ridgeway, Pennsylvania to the big carving rendezvous they have there. We get a couple hundred carvers from all over the world. And it's in the winter time or early, early spring. Like I'm not sure when it is next year.
April, early April probably. Oh, just a couple hours. Okay. Yep. It's close, so I'm lucky. I mean, the, the guys from Japan have a long trip. But. Yeah, I won a few competitions along the way, and uh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's not really what I care about anymore, but. <laughs> I don't know anymore. It used to be human figures because I had a Michelangelo book when I was a little kid that I used to draw from. So he was always my my favorite. The things he was making was what I wanted to be making. But now I like it all. It's, it's all fun. I, zombies are right up there because they're still human, but they're fun. And you don't have to be perfect. And you get to paint them all these crazy colors. And they're they're probably the most fun. <laughs> I still sold a few. Yeah, I mean they're not bears and eagles by any means, but I don't hold hours. <laughs> I I'm usually here every day, six days a week. Sunday a couple hours sometimes, but usually Monday through Saturday, daytime hours. I have paintings of my kids that I did at home that are right up there. No, I mean I just I like I have fun making them all. Usually my favorite piece is one of the most recent ones. And uh, that's that. Backed up pretty good right now. Uh, I'm right about where I want to be. I have enough work, but I'm not buried. Okay. So I mean, I've been busy all year, so mm -hmm. that's a good thing, I guess. Yeah. But trying to keep inventory in, keep up with orders, that, yeah. you know. So I'll be busy next three months, I hope. Yeah. I I get a lot of anatomy books. I can't remember the one that I saw, but I saw a sketch of that figure, and. I can work well from sketches because I like the information provided in a pencil sketch as opposed to a photograph sometimes. I can understand the volume. So I was just trying to do a somewhat anatomically correct figure. That, that is it. Do a nice pose. I mean, Medusa's cool. <laughs> I love snakes. and <laughs> Snakes are cool. Female figures are cool. Medusa. I've always loved making skulls too, drawing skulls. When I was a little kid, my sister told me you shouldn't, you can't draw skulls all the time because you got to make stuff that people will buy. And I didn't listen to her. <laughs> Still making them. <laughs> they don't. I sell a few of them. Yeah, absolutely. But the hollow ones back here, one, the the one really polished one, I, I it was, I did it in the middle of winter. I spent about a month on it. It was, you know, I just wanted to take one piece all the way when I had time. It was January or something, so I had time to really get into that one. Depends on the budget. If if I'm trying to make a $250 eagle and I spend spend a certain amount of time, if somebody wants an eagle and they're willing to spend a thousand dollars, it's a different amount of time. So I, I don't really have an average. Um, I'm fast with the big chainsaws. But detail takes a lot of time. So when you start slowing down and doing eyes and talons, and you can really put a lot of time. I can spend a day on one hand, more than a day on one hand, if you were trying to do a Michelangelo museum quality piece. Set the stage. 